Hey everybody, it's me, Will. And me, Kristen. And we talked about time travel on the show this week, and we decided to hang out for a few more minutes and take a look at the actual time travelers yeah. themselves. So we talked about the Charlie Chaplin time traveling woman. We talked about the Michael Michael Tyson. <laughs> Little Mikey Michael Tyson's Tyson. yeah. boxing match where there's a time traveler in the stands. We're going to take a look at some of the, the footage and the, the, yeah, pictures the pictures and stuff. Yeah, so uh, let's take a look. Cool. Uh, so first, I'm just going to Google Chaplin Time uh, Traveler. I'm sure that will do the trick. Okay. Right? Are we still streaming right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Chaplin Time Traveler. Oh, it's a video too. I'm going to oh, mute okay. it. Yeah. The audio is not necessary anyway, but all right, let's see. It's a minute and 19 seconds. Yeah. There, this is her, by the way. <clears throat> this one? See that? Oh, yeah. See that? Now, isn't it conspicuous? Holding her hand to her ear. Now, there are some people who like to say, but if this was a time traveler, <laughs> why is she dead center in the frame <laughs> and in focus? A good question. I mean, you can't see what she's holding. She's definitely like doing the action of somebody on their phone. Yes. But, you know. And it sort of. I mean, you, I, I don't think you can tell what she's holding like at all. Oh, I guess when she turned a little bit, you can kind of see. When she turns a little bit. Yeah, there's a close up of it. So when she turns a little bit, you can see it looks like she's talking into this it device. Does. I mean, it does. It does look like that. So it definitely has a suspicious. It also has a spooky vibe slowing it down this yeah, much. Yeah, totally. Now, is this. Look at that. It does seem like she's talking on her cell phone. Yeah, her mouth opens a little bit at the end of that. What the hell's going on? That is strange. It's very strange. Right? Now, yes. can we. I wonder if there's any additional information because I really want to know if there's like a product. Yeah. All right. The Atlantic has an article about this. All right. Okay. Uh, let's look up the Mike Tyson time traveler. Michael Tyson. <laughs> Tra traveler. There you go. All right. Uh, oh, we'll go to Snopes because they'll debunk it for yeah. us right away. See? Oh this is that vertical yeah. rectangle. I mean, that is that is crazy looking. It looks exactly it, like a phone. It completely does. It looks exactly like a phone. False. Yeah. Uh <clears throat> a video was published on YouTube in 2015, but it was of a 1995 match, um, and that's where this is, 1995. <laughs> now, phones in 1995 existed, cell phones, I mean. That's amazing. Um, but, yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is what the debunkers like to tell you. Right, right. That's what they'll say. Yeah, that there were portrait mode phones can, available. Can you go back up? I just want to see if it like looks it look I mean you can't really tell. I feel like it looks more flat than those things look. It doesn't look like any one of these. No. I will say that. Yeah. Right? Right. It's all white. Yeah. And it doesn't ha have these bands going across. No, but I guess they're just using those as examples of potential cameras. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it looks like a cell phone. It looks exactly like a cell phone. <laughs> Once again, I remain unconvinced that these aren't time travelers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Tyson and McNeely. I do, I'm not seeing compelling evidence to disprove this to me. Now, I don't know. the knowledge that, you know, that. time in traveled into, you know, yeah. the past shouldn't be real. Now, I don't know if uh, Michael or McNeely ever yeah. commented on this themselves. Hmm. Could they know. sense that there was someone in their midst that... Maybe it threw them. Yeah. Probably threw the fight. Yeah. Whoever lost, lost because they were distracted. Yeah. Um, future phone. Yeah. This is the debunking article about the Chaplin time okay. traveler. Um <clears throat> First long distance telegraph was okay. patented in 1924. A compact pocket sized carbon microphone slash amplifier device suitable for pocket instruments. All right. So basically like a primitive cell phone kind of. Yeah. And there's not a photograph of it. Yeah. Although they have this link to a hearing aid. Okay. okay. This is a rectangular electronic hearing aid. Yeah. Available in 1925. Okay. And what was the movie? Uh, Charlie Chaplin's The Circus. So let's just find out the year. Charlie yeah. Chaplin, The Circus. Uh, and see. This movie. 1928. 28. So okay. this, thing, this thing existed. Yes. And in the realm of debunking, what all these right. debunkers yeah. like to do is say it was completely possible and reasonable that right. that woman had purchased that device. Yes. I'm, but we all know the yeah. truth. We all of know. course. Let's look it's at the hipster. Phone. Let's look at the hipster. Yeah, photo. yeah, yeah. The hipster time traveler. Fact check. Does this photograph capture a time traveling hipster? Here he is. 
Oh my god! <laughs> You've never seen this. This doesn't ring a bell. No. He. Um, oh my! It's just god. a photograph, so I don't know why there's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's let's That's open. That's so funny. Open image in a new tab. A hipster doofus. Yeah, there's a hipster doofus in this photograph. So you can plainly see, like, oh look God. at the era yeah. of of fashion. Yeah, he definitely sticks out like a sore thumb. He looks like a time traveler. He looks like a time traveler. There, there's nothing that to it. That is so funny. Also, his sunglasses don't look like just sun, sunglasses. No. They look like for when people have had their eyes dilated yes. or they have, like, a photo sensitivity to light. Yes. And, and maybe that's the case. But, um, yeah, he's not wearing a hat. Although <laughs> neither are like, these guys. He's wearing, like, a graphic tee. And his face is kind of like, uh, 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 oh. what the hell? Are you going to open the bridge or not? Yeah. <laughs> I have to get my avocado toast. Nice, Will. I'm starting this new thing called breakfast plus lunch. <laughs> I think it's really going to take off in 80, 90 years. <laughs> is brunch a famously hipster construct? In the, in the recent past, yeah. <laughs> it's not constructed I'm, by hipsters, I'm though. I'm making fun of people who make fun of I know that i'm just saying i don't think hipsters invented brunch and then, they might think they did and then this guy well, the fuck that was a, ooh, that was a good joke <laughs> that was a good joke congratulations Thank i'm you. sorry i didn't they, give you the they might feel like they invented brunch <laughs> <laughs> good one chris thanks will uh and then this guy here in the in the foreground is going <laughs> in my day breakfast and lunch were separate we kept them separate by a few hours i don't want to hear it they should not be together. Where is your hat? Button your cardigan. <laughs> yeah, this is nuts. It almost looks like he's wearing a little necklace, too. Uh, and it also looks like he is holding a Polaroid yeah, camera yeah. To, be, to be delightfully retro. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced this guy. So this is a time travel. This is a time traveling hipster. This is a time traveler. That's so funny. Um, what else? There was like a Robert Redford movie with a time traveler, too. Really? Something like that. Yeah, Robert Redford iPhone time traveler. If it's not Robert Redford, I'm I'm okay. I'm pretty much unable to to. It doesn't seem up. like it. Yeah, iPhone time yeah, traveler movie. We'll just post. Oh look, there are paintings. <laughs> there are paintings of time travelers. <laughs> Why do I have to look at movie uh, like like videos? Here, 1937 painting. Let's look at somebody holding yeah. an iPhone. <clears throat> oh no. Right oh my god <laughs> holy moly it's true truly hidden in plain sight he's like front and center almost it's front all true. And off center if only there was more information about yeah. this to, right. to to color my interpretation of it but now look at that yeah. photo he's definitely a time traveler. we'll never find out moving on yeah all right let me add the word movie here and see if we can get sure. another and then we'll yeah this is the one i was looking oh, okay. for Time Traveler in a 1948 film. So you can see these people are in some sort of... Uh, it's James Dean. Like a stage... <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I didn't know that James Dean did this kind of thing. Is that James Dean? I think it is. Make it go in motion again. He wasn't later than 1948? <sighs> Henry Fonda. Henry Fonda? Oh, okay. And Shirley Temple. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think it's Henry Fonda in the stagecoach. Yeah. He's about to get in and consult his phone real quick. They were filming this scene, yeah. but real quick, he had to check his future notifications. Amazing. Does he kind of look like James Dean in my nuts? <laughs> Believe it or not, I know nothing about James Dean. Oh, I, whoa. I, honestly, I don't know either. Oh, my gosh. Is that Brad Pitt? <laughs> whoa. Wow, well, there oh is. Oh my God, and George Clooney. <laughs> this is like the original Ocean's I bet, 8. I bet they're about to do an epic prank on James Dean back there. This is Ocean's 68. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, Ocean's 11, more like Ocean's 1911. <laughs> All right. Boy, that guy's got a lot of business. He had a lot to say up there. <laughs> Here we go. See, look. It's an iPhone. <laughs> He's probably reading his lines off it. <laughs> That's amazing. He thought they weren't going to use this take. Right. It was just, he thought it was rehearsal still. So he's reading his lines. Well, there's off the proof. Off his iPhone. There it is. The proof is in the pudding. Because, and the most important thing to take away from all of this is that we have to keep a level head and remember yes. that dark colored rectangles did not exist before the year 2000. Correct. 
Correct. And if anybody tries to tell you that those aren't cell phones, they're lying to you. They're killjoys and they're also trying to hide the truth from yeah, you. Yeah, they'll sit on your sandwich, pop your balloon, and steal your birthday wish. That's right. We don't need them. Mm-mm. All right? Vertical rectangles are a very now thing. That's right. So, all right. So keep an eye out for them now. Yeah. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, people, and we don't talk about it. Yeah. Hey, and if you're from the future, contact us. Yeah, I want to hear yeah, about. I want to hear about the future. Yeah. All right, there you go. That's a little uh, behind the scenesy, additionally yeah. thingy for Guide to the Unknown. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you on at GTTU Pod yeah. uh, and all the other places. Right, we'll see you in the future. Yeah, but until that time comes, we gotta get back to the netherworld, y'all. That's right. Bye. Bye.